Hi, I'm Eric with Narrow Road Van Conversions. This is Derek, Skyler, and Paul. We're out here showing you our number 25 van. We're excited to show you this Promaster Ram 2500. It's got double doors on it. Why don't you come on in and have a look around? Walking up and into it, you can see we've got a little bit different countertop on this one. We got beautiful bamboo countertop. This one's a kind of a Miami themed van. Uh, bamboo ceiling, bamboo cabinet faces. It all worked out really, really nice. We've got some flooring in here that's uh, a variation of colors that really works well with tying it all together. If you've never done one with a passenger and a driver sliding door. So it's pretty cool. You can go in and out and all the way through this van. Uh, nice and open for the, the Southern Miami weather. Uh, back and out here, you can see we've got a Ram 2500 Promaster. Uh, so this is just a little bit shorter than the 3500, so not extended. So here in the swivel seat of the driver's seat, um, I'm basically in what we call the office area. Um, for starters, we got a cork board in the recess of the passenger slide door, as well as another shelf that's built into the recess of the van. As I am turning back facing the rear, we have a tip up counter. It's a great desk space, be a great dining space. The customer is gonna be doing some work remotely on the road. So this is where they will be doing the most of their stationary work. Up here we have a monitor on a swivel system. So that articulates to get a little bit closer. And I'll show you actually the more sophisticated aspect of that. So behind the TV, there's the articulating arm as well as a T-rail track system, which allows you to slide the entire frame over, we'll tighten that back down, and you can actually have this swiveled all the way outside. So if the weather's nice enough, you can sit outside, watch a, a movie, um, if you're tailgating, you can have the pregame on, and that will swivel in any direction out here. To bring this back in. It's as simple as loosen these four nuts and the whole thing slides in. You can actually go all the way to the far side and tighten everything down again so that the monitor will swivel all the way facing the back. Right, moving back from the office area, we have microwave, freezer, fridge, some of the models that you might have seen in our other vans. Um, everything else is, we got drawer, 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 another drawer. Here we have a pantry, so it's drawers within a cabinet. And those operate like so. Another good size overhead cabinet here. And then here is more of a wardrobe closet size cabinet. Below the pantry and wardrobe, we have here, it's a little, it might be a little hard to show you. So the installation of this toilet system has some heavy duty casters underneath the box in addition to the drawer slides. So it's plenty strong to sit on, which is good because it functions as an additional seating area. This is the Laveo dry flush toilet. Got 
Right here we have a slide counter that comes out. It's an additional work area. Also a place you could sit and have a snack. So moving on from this work area, I'll just move the toilet back in where it goes. We got a stack of three drawers here. They're all the same depth. So I'll give you an idea of what that looks like. Moving forward from that, we have the sink cabinet storage. That's a nice big cabinet there. You'll see we have a water drop filter up in the corner. Goes into our filtered water source. We got a trash can here on this door, which is accessible either by opening the door itself or by opening this tip out. You got trash right there. So we got a nice large surface of the bamboo countertop here to work with when you're cooking and cleaning and doing dishes and whatnot. Above that, we have a tile backsplash, which just throws a little bit of color and flair. So we have an AC outlet as well as a DC outlet, and then just a light above that to keep everything well lit. Um, our control panel is here. Our solar charge controller tells you what your battery levels are at as well as how the solar is performing above. And then we have switches for the gray water, the inverter, an outdoor power source, as well as the light that I mentioned just a second ago. Moving back, we have the sink, which hides out underneath a chunk of the counter, which is something we typically do. We have a black sink and black fixtures. These faucets work great because you can swivel everything out to hose something off if you get sand on your sandals or if you just want to fill a water bottle and don't feel like coming up into the van i've used it that way in the past too countertop drops right back in and you're back to having a whole bunch of counter space speaking of counter space we got another tip up here so that extends out you can eat you can have your laptop here it's just a nice space to hang out. Moving in towards the back, you can see we've got four upper cabinets up here. Uh, the bed turned out really nice. The customer is tall. So we made a point to use as much of the space inside the walls as possible. So you can see that there's a little setback here um, that dips back in. We still man it. We still put some insulation in there um, with these windows, but we have almost six foot four sleeping with in this ProMaster, which is which is pretty cool. I don't think you could get another half inch out of it. Uh, you can see we've got a couple of reading lights up above the bed. There is a cup holder in the back and a cup holder up here in the front. We've got a bookshelf up above the AC outlet. So a nice little area back here. Uh, we've got an air conditioner with a heat pump in it for heat. Uh, these people will be Southern customers, so uh, not a need for a permanent heater in here. So the heat pump that comes in with this air conditioner was enough. A couple of neat features in here is we have a built-in spice rack up above the door here. There's also above the cork board, um, a bookshelf or a spice rack up here. We have the standard swivel seats that come with the ProMaster. Moving around the outside, we put a solid window in here. We normally put a vented one. We got our normal bunk windows here. Uh, these windows came with the van, the rear windows. Moving around the back, uh, we've got a couple of slide out trays for uh, bikes or anything else for that matter. Uh, very heavy 500 pound trays. Uh, so there's two trays for moving in and out cargo or bikes. So this side over here is the plumbing side. We've got an access panel for you to get in to uh, anything if you ever needed to access any of the, plum uh, the plumbing components. This has a heat exchanger water heater in it. Here we have our normal rear shower that we have. Down here is our inlet for the water. Here's another access compartment for some storage. You can see in here, we've got the uh, adapter for the shore power, um, the adapter for the 
winterization, so that'll plug right in there. You can hook an air compressor up to winterize this. And then lots of just storage, you can put your hose and other things in there. Another nice touch is we have a little rail around this so you can put things up there and no risk of it sliding off and falling off. Over here we've got the electrical side. We've got a flip down right here that goes in uh, to another tray where the hose is for the rear shower. So there's a lot of storage in here also. Up there you can see the inverter, some other electrical components in there. Tucked underneath are six battle-borne lithium iron phosphate batteries. Fuse box, another little door here to access the uh, main fuses. So everything's real easy to get to. Here we have our crank for the Fiamma awning put in. Rear outlet, rear lights. Uh, garage lights are on a switch right here. Water pump switch is right there. Moving around this side on the outside. We have the short power inlet here. And then another step to get in. Uh, from the driver's side. Well, thanks a lot for coming along on this walkthrough with us. If you'd like to have a custom made van to your exact specifications, why don't you email me at the email listed below and I'd be happy to get an estimate out to you. From Eric and your van conversions, thanks and we'll see you on the road. Excuse me, Derek, what are you doing? Derek, what are you doing? I'm working on my beach body. <laughs>